Hi there, everyone. My name is Pirak Jitani. I'm an MD MBA student at Yale. And today I wanted to just deconstruct the urology match because this is one of the matches that happens early in the year. And actually, this was met with a lot of surprise across the med Twitter universe, primarily because a large proportion of people did not match. So let's just kind of talk about this entire process and the numbers behind it. And hopefully in the process, educate you uh, on you know just the difference in, different insights that are present for the uro urology match. So first of all, I want to give a massive shout out to um, Dr. Carmody, who is a big person on Twitter who does a lot of insights into step one, step two, and even the rank. Uh, a lot of the stuff I'm going to talk about is stuff that I was able to find through his Twitter, as well as obviously uh, the PDF that is about the 2022 urology residency match that is actually put out by the... Um, more official urology organization. So as is always the case, we try to always use evidence-based methods, and so everything is going to come primarily from numbers. So let's start initially with the applicants registered, the number of applicants that submitted their list, the number of applicants that were ranked by the programs, and the number of applicants who matched. So if you now see the number of people who registered, it's 601. Of those, 556 actually submitted their lists, which says, hey, these are the programs I wanted to list first, second, third, fourth, fifth. And then, of those 556, 534 were actually ranked by programs, right? So the way the match works is you not only list who you're interested in in a program, the programs also list which applicants they're interested in. And then the algorithm tries to match everything up, and you'll see that 365 people were matched, which leaves 191 uh, from that initial 556 that were unmatched. Um, 191 out of 556 is, a, I'm pretty sure, a little bit over 30% of people who went unmatched, which is a large number, and this is primarily the thing that surprised a lot of individuals. Now let's actually jump into the details here. So you can see just at the bottom that the TLDR is that 34% of people went unmatched while 66% did match. Of that, uh, 373 um, uh, you know, applicants were male, 180 were female. 63% of males matched, 72% of females matched, 28% of females didn't match, 37% of males did not match. You have non-binary, um, one of whom did not match, and transgender, 50% uh, of which matched, and 50% didn't. The other thing you also want to break down is by senior medical students, which is in U.S. and Canada, previous graduates, which means people who have graduated from medical school already, but now are either applying after taking some time off, uh, and then you have IMGs. You can see that 19% of IMGs matched, 81% did not, and 20, 26 IMGs total applied. 70% uh, of senior medical students matched, 30% did not. 51% of previous graduates matched, and then 50% did not. Uh, the average number of applicants applications sent by each applicant is 82. That means on average, any person applying to urology applied to 82 programs and got on average 11 interviews. Um, so that in and of itself is already like really scary just because of like when you think about the fact that on average people put 82 programs and still 34% went unmatched. That's when you really have to start thinking about, wow, you know, after a certain amount of point, what is the magic number after which there's diminishing returns? Because if you're applying to 82 programs and still a lot of people are going unmatched, that really is, is really, really tough. Let's now express a lot of this in graphical format. So all applicants by type, you can see that about 84% of applicants were from US and Canada. 11% are previous graduates. Uh, well, so let me rectify my previous statement. 84% are people who are applicants who are seniors at US and Canada medical schools. 11.3% are previous graduates and 4.7% are IMGs. This is the total applicant pool. Now, if you look at people who matched, you'll notice that around 90% of them are senior medical students. Uh, I think you have here 8% are previous grads and 1.4% are IMGs. And so you're kind of taking the total number of people from each of these categories and seeing 328 over 556, 32 over 556, and 5 over 556 to get that last number. Um, so that's kind of where we're at. And we also want to now end with, you know, how did it all go? So around 37% of the people who did match, matched at their first choice. And again, these are people who matched. So your whole pie is the people who matched. 37% matched at their top choice. 15% matched at their second choice. 12% matched at their third choice. 9% matched at their fourth choice. And then 27% matched at beyond their fourth choice. So that tells you again a lot about just how competitive urology is, what it takes to match urology. 
Um, I hope this was slightly insightful for everyone. If you have any questions, please do link them below. I'll be more than happy to try to get them answered by several of my friends who are exceptional urology uh, colleagues. But in the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like, comment, share, subscribe. Really appreciate it. Uh, and you know, if you can, take care of yourself. Take care of your uh, take care of someone else too. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.